Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Tierra the Realtor. And if you're new here, my channel is all about real estate lifestyle vlogs and so much more. And today guys, I am inside of the Newmark beautiful floor plan, the Cologne. It's 3859 square feet. It's a four bedroom, four and a half bath, three car garage, game room and media room. And if you guys are interested in not only seeing this beautiful home, but also finding out what is priced at, please stay tuned. Welcome inside. Y'all, these doors are stunning and they're heavy. <laughs> but yes, guys, welcome inside of the Cologne. So we are actually going to take in this beautiful foyer. Oh, my foyer, foyer, whatever you want to call it. It is stunning. We're going to take it in. It's so wide. It's so airy. It's so nice. It's so pretty. It's so grand. You know I love me a beautiful, grand foyer area. And that is just what we have here. But before we go this way, I'm gonna take you guys this way. So as soon as you come in off to your left, you're gonna follow me. You're going to be greeted by the powder room here. Yes, you guys, this one here, I'm not gonna lie, even though it does not have the frame around the mirror and y'all know how I am about that, this home, I'm okay with that. And you guys will see here shortly why. I am definitely okay with that. Stunning. If you guys come this way. So this is my office, if you guys didn't know. Hopefully you're soon to be office too. First off, they decorated it with the green for me. <laughs> Duh, right? Like my brokerage, I'm gonna say this all the time. My brokerage is green and orange. I don't know if you guys are starting to see every single builder are going with green. So at this point, the Lord is letting me know it was a sign. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so this is the office. It is really spacious. Now, it does not have a door on it, but it's completely secluded from like the rest of the home, except for the, the powder room here. That's the only thing I would say. Also, now, let me just say, you guys, this is the model. Everything that you see in this home, people, has been heavily upgraded. I'm just gonna tell you right now that the, it's probably over $200,000, $300,000 worth of upgrades in this home. So please keep that in mind. One thing I will try to do is point out as many upgrades as possible. Light fixtures, the built-ins, those are all upgrades. Your home will not have those, right? Um, but I just wanna kind of point these things out to you guys so you don't think that if you got the cologne with Newmark, that your house is gonna come like this. No, these are upgrades. Now they will have light fixtures. They're just not gonna be this grand, of course. Absolutely love the fact that they have the sliding doors here, right to the foyer area of the home, which is the outside foyer. And they also have a seating area with the fire pit, stunning. And I don't know if you guys know, but I love when you have a nice home office and right outside your office is an escape, right? Because sometimes when we work, we wanna look out or we actually wanna step out and just get a breath of fresh air. So I love the fact that it's literally right off of the front foyer area. Now over here is, like I mentioned earlier, it's a three car garage. So this door right here is the door to the one car garage. So it's three cars, one is gonna be off to the side and then the other two will be on the other side. What I love when they do the separation of the two and three car garage, one thing that I love the most is that if you wanna turn this into like a storage, if you wanna turn it to like a man cave, if you wanna turn it into a gym, you can do that and it really doesn't interfere with the garage garage portion of the home. So I love that. And then you guys will see from the exterior how it's set up with the home here, the garage, and then off to the side, it'll be another one here. So you'll see that. 
it's really nice. I like that a lot. But let's keep going. We are going to, I would show you guys all of downstairs, but because the stairwell is right here, we're gonna go ahead on and go upstairs. Downstairs is stunning, but upstairs is gonna blow your, <laughs> it's gonna knock your socks off, okay? But if you guys want to, y'all can meet me up there. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all decide to do. Thank you guys so kindly for meeting me up here. No, seriously, that was like very kind of you guys. So we are gonna start with the guest bedroom. So remember, this is a four and a half bedroom. And actually, I think this is a, I think the model is actually a five bedroom. I know it is actually. It's typically a four and a half, but this model is a five bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the first guest bedroom. What? So spacious, so pretty love perfect teenager room it's definitely giving teen vibes but again this is you guys's guest bedroom this here is like a full-size bed you have your two nightstands right against the window you have your dresser you have your walk-in closet here nice size walk-in closet for sure and then look at this bathroom what Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. This home, making me reconsider some things, I'm just saying. But you guys, I'm loving the brass. I'm loving the backsplash. I mean, just the, the two, I'm loving the quartz. I'm, this is the European cabinetry. You guys will see more of that with the beautiful gold candle pools. Now this home does not have a frame mirror, but I am okay with this house not having a frame mirror. Like, it don't need it. See, when your bathroom was like this, it doesn't need it, okay? And then of course it has the toilet, but this is stunning. Look at what, look at this tile. Let me, let me move out y'all way. Y'all gotta get a look at that tile, baby girl. Yes, it's the details for me. This home is really giving me 10 out of 10 vibes. Already, I mean, y'all gotta just take it in and bear, brace yourself. Okay, so let's go down. So all of the bedrooms upstairs are going to be in this beautiful curve. So if you come this way, you have a linen closet here in between bedrooms. So this here is the second guest bedroom. Very nice space. Of course, they're using this. It's the model, so they're using it as an office space. It pretty much mirrors what we just seen next door. Nice size walk-in closet, and then the bathroom. Now this one, the spacing is a little bit bigger, excuse me, in here than it was in the other one. Although I like the aesthetic of the other one, I like the space of this one. Again, beautiful, love the tile. I absolutely love the shower, love the backsplash, love the brass. I am a brass girl. I am a brass girl. It's given, it's given stunning. But if you guys see the details with the tile, I love it. So over here is going to be the, the desk area. Here they have a built-in. Of course, like I told you guys before, this home has about $200,000 worth of upgrades. This probably will not be in your home, but it's just giving you an idea of what could be. And then this room over here to your far right, that is where the sales counselor is actually working out of. But the bedroom size is quite comparable to the other two bedrooms that we just looked at up here. So if you guys come this way, you're gonna see the best part of the upstairs. I mean, I know you're like, how can it get any better? It's, it's like truly insane. And this is an open to below. It's a catwalk, all the above. You can say hello this way. And then over here, you can, of course, you can have your husband, your wife, your kiddos. You can call them, come on up here. Bring me the remote, bring me a sandwich. It's, you know, now you probably will be able to hear a little something because with open to belows, sound travels. However, I like the fact that it is still somewhat closed off and there is somewhat of a wall to kind of protect some of that noise but let's go this way so this here is the guest 
bathroom for the upstairs area. It also connects to that third bedroom that I was talking about that the sales counselor is in. It connects to that one, but it also opens up to anyone that may be in the game room or media room area. So this one, like I said, it connects, but it's also shared with everyone else. I'm still, I'm, I'm loving the tile on the floor. I'm loving the backsplash, the brass. Like I said, the mirror is not framed, but I, I y'all, y'all know how I am about not having a framed mirror, but I am obsessed with this bathroom. It's amazing. So come this way. What? Oh my gosh. Y'all know this is a game room. The space, the layout, like, I mean, come on. Come on. Like, the bar, oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is a game room. This is how your house should look. If you buy a house with a game room, this is what, I, this is what you should envision. Okay, they also added in a wine cellar, plenty of storage, plenty of cabinet space, countertop, again guys, they even did the tile. Right off of the balcony, well, right on the balcony from the game room. I love, love, love. Of course, this is the model, so they got the best view in the house. Okay, which also, the fact that this home I mean, just, uh, it's so nice. I'm like, I'm, I'm just obsessed. You know, I can move in just like this. I mean, I literally can move in just like this. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want my heel to fall in and y'all see me struggling. Okay guys, so this home also has a nice media room. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I, I just love it. It's nice, it's cozy, it's spacious. It's not overdone because y'all, let's be for real. This is only when family comes in town. This is rare that people use a media room, but it's so spacious. You can fit so many people along the couch, friends and family over. It, it's really, really, really deep. And it's just nice, it's cozy, it's warm. Oh, love it. Definitely 10 out of 10 so far. Y'all comment down below. Just rate the upstairs alone. Because again, guys, I am truly obsessed. So we are about to walk back through this beautiful catwalk. And I will see you guys downstairs. Thank you guys for meeting me down here yet again. You guys are just too kind. But... Again, we're back downstairs in the front of the house and look at this amazing formal dining. What? Like, literally, it's stunning. It is definitely a showroom. Now, I know a lot of people don't have formal dining rooms nowadays. You could really be really creative with this space, whatever you wanna make it. I just feel like a nice formal dining room where everyone come and gather for special occasions is nice and it's coming back in style but if you guys want to utilize this space for something else hey be my guest but it's still really nice i love how they decorated it it's really a nice accent and i don't know if you guys can tell this is an eight seater so it's really really good space and honestly it's perfect as an eight seater but i feel like you could possibly even do 10 seats it may be a little tight but i think it could happen i also like this again you guys they put a lot of upgrades in here i'm pretty sure your yours will not have this beautiful showcase of all the nice wine of course i love how they are showcasing newmark i don't know if i had me something like this. I don't know what I would be showcasing, darling, but this is stunning. I love the cables. I love how they did it. Anyway, brings beautiful accent to the place. Definitely gives a form of luxury without saying it. And here we are back in that stunning foyer that I was referring to in the beginning. I'm loving how high the ceilings are. They did really good with that brass chandelier. As you guys know, I love brass, love chandeliers. And then I love the space. Now, this stairwell, it's not like all the other stairwells that we see where it's like super curved, 
where you could put your Christmas tree, but it does have a nook where you could put it. It's just, it just doesn't have that big rotunda if you guys were trying to like see like, oh, it's a little different. So it, it is a little bit different. Now, if you keep coming, look at this living room. Tons of natural lighting. I love the bay window. I mean, the ceiling has the tray ceilings, the chandelier, the fireplace. I mean, I mean the space, the layout, the functionality of it. It's, it's a home that screams, this is the living room. This is the family room. Love that for us. Like, this is how you wanna come home. It, it's just stunning. It's just absolutely stunning. And if you guys haven't noticed, the natural light is lighting, okay? I love natural lighting. It's giving airy, it's giving clean, it's giving big, it's giving spacious. But if you come this way, darling, you guys will see this state-of-the-art kitchen, okay? They have the marble countertops, waterfall island. Do y'all see that? Waterfall, it just keeps going on both sides, okay? Yes, yes, state-of-the-art. Then you have this beautiful brass. I mean, just it's just, it's the details for me. And y'all know how I'm always talking about some that this doesn't match the handle pulls. Y'all see how they match that perfectly? Like you start to notice things, you know what I mean? Like this is how it's done, okay? This, when it's done correctly, this is how it's done. So these are considered European style cabinets and these are the handle pulls for European style cabinets. So if you guys see me say like shaker style versus European style, this is the more elevated cabinetry. I really like them a lot. It's just very like easy and sleek, simple, very nice. Now, before we get too detailed in the kitchen, this is the pantry now. My stuff is in here, but this is the pantry here. It's so pretty. It's spacious, it's good enough. It's a walk-in. Yes, we've seen bigger, but it's still a nice size pantry nonetheless. I love the fact that everything is built in. You have your built-in range, your hood vent. You even have your trash chute. I'm like, sorry you guys, it's trash in the trash chute. But you have your trash chute, you have your, wa your washer and dry, I mean, <laughs> your dishwasher. Built-in fridge, well, it's not really a built-in, but because they, you know, did it where it slots in, you have that your built-in microwave, your built-in oven, tons of cabinetry everywhere you look. It's just space, 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 and more space. Now, I'm going to go ahead on and show you guys the dining room real quick, but then we're gonna go, got something in the back to show you, but we're gonna show you this first because uh, you can't go in the kitchen without showing the kitchen dining room table. Like what? Um, but yes, this is the dining room area. This is like the everyday breakfast nook where you'll come sit with family. Of course, the formal is for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and <laughs> birthdays. <laughs> yes, darling. But yes, the space is amazing. Love that for us. And then look what's right off the kitchen. Let's come on out here. And look at the patio, so nice. So, y'all, let's just take it all in. So y'all know upstairs was the balcony. Downstairs, you have this stunning patio. It, it literally is like massive. Like it just kind of keeps going. You have you a six seater table here. Then you have four seats over there where you can kind of lounge. You can eat outside, very nice. Then you have this view. Again, this is the model. This is the view of the model. So, you know, this probably won't be your view. But again, nice, nice size yard. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to see a flaw here. Like literally, I cannot, I, I, I just, I'm still seeing 10 out of 10. So we are going to go ahead on and look at somewhat of a butler's pantry. It's more like a bar area, but it can it can also be utilized for a butler's pantry, right? So right off of the kitchen and the formal dining, you have this bar situation. Now, yes, a butler's pantry normally has like a door and stuff like that. But if you are having guests and you need a place to prep and you don't need all of this as like 
a bar area. You know, you could use this also as like a secondary butler's pantry, if you will. It also has another wine cellar, plenty of storage. I mean, it, it just gets better and better. So you have your mud room. Love a nice mud room. This mud room is really more my aesthetic as far as how it's put together. I like the look of this mud room. It, it just looks cohesive. And I don't know if you guys are looking at all the natural tones with the pop of green. I'm just gonna always say that. Just so y'all can see it. Y'all see it. Yeah, I know y'all too. So, if you guys come this way, you're gonna see this is the second bedroom on the first floor, okay? So remember, this home is a four bedroom, four and a half bath, but the model is a five bedroom, okay? So, as you can see, this is perfect for a mother-in-law suite, in-law suite, or even just a guest bedroom. It's on the first floor. It has all of, I mean, it's stunning. And then if you wanted to use it as a mother-in-law suite, it, you know, you don't have to worry about them tripping or anything like that. So this is perfect. Again, love everything about this floor plan, the tile, all the way down to the mirror. And you know, I'm saying a lot, I'm just saying. And then if you come this way, look at this room what so again full-size bed dresser i mean i'm sorry nightstand nightstand dresser they have a chair the view is stunning okay what if this was your guest bedroom they wouldn't want to leave i'm just letting y'all know this is definitely for someone who's going to stay here for a while hence as to why i say mother-in-law sweep and then of course you have the nice lovely closet now it ain't too big Whoever live in this room, they don't need to be here long. No, let me stop. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go back this way. We've already discussed the mud room. So now we're going into the laundry room, which is, the, which is a wet room at that. Oh, y'all, I'm just, when, when, when they get it, they get it. And those of you who get it, y'all get it. But not only do they have some marble countertops in the laundry room, talk about it. They have the nice washer and dryer, the European cabinetry, plenty of space. The space continues. And then they have a sink up in here. What? This is a wet room. They have plumbing in the laundry room. This is what a lot of homes have been missing. I'm just saying. So you can, if you got a stain, rinse it out real good, pop it in there, fold all your clothes, stack them up, put them up, have storage up under here, and a nice little chair. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all get the vibes. I'm just saying, they, they really thought about this. This is a home. This, this home, in my opinion, would be a forever home. I'm just saying, y'all let me know what y'all think. So remember how I told you guys earlier that it was a three car garage, but one was on that side by the office. And then this one here is perfectly located because this would be like, I'm assuming the main garage. So if you guys come out here, you have your two car and then over off to the side, you have a ton of storage. So you really could utilize that other one as whatever you like. And hey, you may need it for a car. So boom, but you still have storage in this one. So love that for us. So guys, I hope you ready. Cause I'm ready, I'm excited. So we're just gonna walk back through this lovely kitchen. This was that second entrance I was talking to you about, about the kitchen. Now guys, we're going into the primary suite, but before we go, I just want y'all to know, I'm excited, okay. Y'all, you know what? I think this is my next home. I'm just saying, I'm, and that says a lot for me. I, I like a lot of houses, but to say this is my next home, I'm just saying. So they have the king size bed, two nightstands, the view. Hello, what? The view, the view, the windows, the natural lighting, I mean, and it's so crazy that this bedroom is smaller than the bedroom that we currently own. 
and I'm okay with that because of everything else the house offers. But the house is just very nice. Oh my gosh, the room, the space, I love it. Still good space. They have a chair in here and everything. You can still sit, put on your shoes, lotion your body, but I'm gonna go up in here. Oh, Y'all can't be looking though. <laughs> Okay guys, I hope y'all ready. Cause it's about to go down. Oh y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm dramatic, but look at this. You guys, perfection, perfection. Now this is the only bathroom in the house that actually has the framed mirrors. And honestly, I am kind of like mad they did not frame it because it was bigger in the other ones. It had the light fixtures popping out of it, but don't get me wrong, still love it. They still did the marble. They still have the handle pulls, the brass, the freestanding tub, the his and her closet. Okay, but let's just pay attention to the details. Okay, this is clearly his. They even knew this was his, I'm just saying. Y'all can tell by the staging of the closet that they knew this was his, but it keeps going. It goes all the way back here. Ugh. Anyway, guys, I love this house. The shower, it's so, it's so moody. Oh my gosh, it's such, that's the word, it's moody. I love it. Like the color tones that they decided to go with is very moody. I love the brass. Y'all, they're doing something with the, the green for me. Oh, I don't know if y'all know. The green is speaking to me, you know? It just really is. But anyway, so you got your his and hers. You have your freestanding tub. You have your shower. Of course, they have to put the powder room in here. You know, it's, it's a nice size. It has a door on it. The towel is tiling, you know what I mean? On, even on the floor. You have your linen closet, which is a necessity in bathrooms. Okay, I'm just saying. But yes, they have that. And then guys, wait, my closet. <laughs> yeah, this is my house, I'm just saying. Now, it is on the smaller side for me, but I am willing to sacrifice for this house because my closet is much bigger than this, I must say. But still, the way they did this closet, and California closets did mine too, so I know this is California closet. I can clearly tell just by the rods, the quality, the railing, all of, I mean, it's clearly California closet. But the way they did this, it ain't gonna fit all my stuff, I can tell you right now. I'm gonna definitely take half of this closet. But I am obsessed. Like, it's just stunning. Oh my God, I'm, it's the details for me. They, they really snapped. So, Thank you guys for not only watching my video, but for staying to the end of today's video. So I know you guys are wondering the biggest question. Tiara, how much is this home? Okay, so the model is a little bit over a million. Ooh, don't hurt me out. But, if you guys did not like all the built-ins, the upgrades, the marble, the tiles, all the razzle-dazzle and badass, if you didn't like all of that stuff, you could actually build this home for a little bit under 800,000, like about seven, ah, 780. So if you guys wanted to actually build this home and maybe not put every single update that they put in here, you guys, that's a steal. $800,000, again, it has a fifth bedroom in this one, but it's typically a four bedroom, four and a half bath. It's 3859 square feet. It's a stunning home. And if you guys are interested in this home or any other home in Houston or the surrounding areas, I would love to assist you. I will put my link in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit that notification bell and the like button. Join the community. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye now.